Let's get everything set up so that when users click login, they get over to Auth0 instead of to our login screen. The first thing we'll need to do is set up a redirect URI in our Auth0 provider. So come down to app.js and down below client ID, we're going to need a redirect URI. And the value for this is going to be where the user gets back to after they have authenticated. In our Auth0 management dashboard, we provided a value of localhost 3000 slash dashboard for this. So what we can do here is give ourselves a multi-line string and we can say window location dot origin. That's going to give us localhost 3000. And then we can say slash dashboard. So let's save that. And then let's go into our home JS file. So go to pages into home JS and up at the very top here, let's import the use Auth0 hook. So we'll do import use auth0. That's going to come from auth0 react. Then down below our use context call here, we can give ourselves a constant of login with redirect. That's going to equal use auth0. We're going to put this call in the login button. Right now, that button is actually a link. We're using gradient link here to wrap the link component from React Router. Let's bring in something called gradient button. This is another component that we've got, which looks just like the link, but it's a button. So gradient button. Then down below, let's take out gradient link. We'll use gradient button instead, and we can give it a text value of the same thing, we'll just say login. And then on click, we'll want to log in with redirect. So we can pass login with redirect right there. So now when we're back at our application, let's go to log in. That's going to take us over here to Auth0. We'll see some warnings about cookies in the console here. We can just clear that out. And if we have a look at the domain, it's at our Auth0 domain. We should have our user in place from the earlier step, so we can put in our user account here. So once we go through that login step, we are back over at the application. And we aren't able to get into the dashboard yet because we still have things set up to look for an is authenticated call from our own auth context. So just to remind ourselves, if we take a look at the admin route, we're calling auth.isauthenticated. This is something that we've got in our own auth context, which is checking whether the JSON web token has expired. We will eventually replace this with the isauthenticated property that comes from the auth0 hook.